we can talk about our test subjects. Pretend like they're not over there in the camera right now. <laughs> Okay, so we have this idea that we're going to um, kind of set up a game for them to play, right? You want to talk about that? Yeah. Okay. Here's something with the, with the butterfly code that's trying to prepare them for the villains and victims code. Within the buzzsaw butterfly code, there are constrictions as pertaining to their submission to me. Um, the idea is that they are all in competition. Some of them realize it more than others. But they are all in competition and they are all playing a game. This game is reflected in the spider fate. They don't know so much about the spider fate right now because in this phase, as they're caterpillars, they're really training to become buzzsaw butterflies. Once they become buzzsaw butterflies, they're more formally recognized as members of the WCMIC, which means they are more important to us as assets to our project, the spider fate. But right now, they're having to master the code and prove themselves in this in this caterpillar phase. They're all playing a the game. Um, I don't make it obvious. I don't tell them because the game is about who can observe the rules and who can manipulate them. Right? Because yeah. this is villainous. This is devious behavior. And this is a sensitive thing. Uh, my slogan is long live the devious. I don't want them to take that and run with it because they should not be just devious to me but um, those of the caterpillars who see what's going on here will find subtle ways to prove themselves to us as villains so first of all we're going to see who's a risk taker and who's not we're going to see who's going to play it safe and who's got the balls to try to manipulate the rules without being caught or do it in the right way. social game that we write into the spider fay is playing out with this DS relationship and like we said before some of them are more aware of it than others but what we are doing is we're watching to see signs of that tactical way of thinking we're watching to see game strategies in spider fay playing out naturally in this DS relationship is that sinister that's kind of twisted because we have our our <laughs> game that we're creating in our lab yeah. And we're watching to see it play out in real life. That's awesome. <laughs> like they're in competition to make themselves known to me, um, but they're not allowed to bitch at each other. They're not allowed to step on each other's toes. They're not allowed to like fight for my attention, all obnoxious and fucking shit. That's annoying. Right. They gotta find subtle, more classy, sophisticated, and villainous, devious ways to do it without breaking my rules. So if we see them picking up strategies that way, utilizing their resources in creative ways, we'll give them brownie points, and that's good because that evidence will show on the website, and it's not obvious just being put out there. They gotta be, they gotta have their eyes and ears out to pick up on stuff. You Mattia, gotta be they gotta be observant. Let's, do you want to use the example of today? Yeah. Mattia. <laughs> Mattia. Um, we got to give her some brownie points for the for using you as a resource. Yeah, we made coffee for the master today, even though she lives in Croatia. So talk about that for a minute, because that's a good example. This will be like the one little hint that they get. Okay, so today um, Mattia was talking to me on Facebook, and she asked where the master was. And I had just come home from work, and I said that he was sleeping, but I wanted to go jump on the bed and wake him up. Um, I asked if 
it was a good idea or not and she said it was but I wasn't supposed to tell him because she didn't want to make him upset um, so I said it won't make him upset as long as we always wake him up with excitement and pep and a smile on our face and coffee so Mattia told me that she wanted to make him coffee but she couldn't so I said well why don't you send him a picture of coffee and she was worried that that would be too much and too intrusive to him so I said well I'll make the coffee and we'll say that it's from us so upon waking up the master had this wonderful yummy cup of coffee from me and Mattia today. I'm Lexi again and today I wanted to talk to you guys about the big picture of what you guys are doing with the Buzzsaw Butterfly program. Um, eventually, after you become good submissives and you graduate from the Buzzsaw Butterfly program, you will have the opportunity to come and visit us in Tampa. Um, when you come to Tampa, there's going to be lots of fun things to do like going to the coffee house, which I was at last night, um, coming and chilling out with us here in downtown. Um, also, there's a lot of raves and a big club district called Ybor City. Um, there's some dungeons that we could go to. Um, also, when you come here, the biggest point of you coming here is to meet us and to get to know us a lot better and to start talking to us about our big project, uh, Wicked City Multimedia and the Spider Fit.